so uh, this is a tutorial about uh, car actually using T-shot. Uh, this tutorial is about to how to add texture labels on the object. Uh, today's my object is uh, BMW M3. Uh, it's a complete sport utility vehicle. Uh, so now uh, I I just wanted to show you how to add a, a label on this spoiler over here. Okay, so uh, just let me get into my project project window over here. In that, let me select my spoiler. Let me select my spoiler and edit the material for that. And in that you have option called labels. In the labels, I just wanted to add another label. Add a label and choose your texture which you wanted to place it there. In my case, as of all game artist, I like Need for Speed most wanted a lot. So I pick one from that. For demo purpose, I can add it, open it. And just now, as you can see, it click the position of the label. So I want it on the spoiler. So I had added it. And if you get down into the options, you have a default scale. You can scale it. See, you can scale it. But now my problem is, as I'm adding my label here, I'm getting the same texture on my on my back also. So I don't want it to happen, and all my texture is being disturbed here. So to overcome that, I just wanted to okay delete this. Okay, get into my scenes okay and materials let me select it and let me see what is the material I use for that I, it is uh, default metallic paint which you had nothing to do with so I just get into my uh, library and get into metal not metal we got to get into paints metallic and here choose this is the default material it's a simple material which I use it so now I add that material if I drag it onto the surface it will be applied to entire thing so let me select only the thing which I wanted here let me just apply it to that as it comes now I just edit material and I choose a label, I choose again texture and as I said pick your material and click where you wanted it to come. So before you click click that just keep it keep in your mind that uh, that your car your your object should be straight at if not, you can even also adjust the angle by rotating it. It's not a issue. You can rotate it, and now you can scale this. I, as from my practice, I know it should be something around two to two point five. So I think it is two to two is good. Even it's not like 1.95. Let us see this. 
Okay, play with this value like let us see 1.8. It, it should. Okay, it should be 1.8. It, it should. And just put at the. You see what the angle. Time you can see a neat, very neat level like most wanted on my spoiler. Uh, thanks for watching.